Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you're new here and I am a homeschool mom to five and today I'm sharing with you our two week grocery haul or part of it. Um, I'm also going to add on the end of this video our farmer's market um, haul that we'll be getting tomorrow on Mother's Day weekend. So happy Mother's Day to everybody. And um, the two places that I went today was the Discount Groceries, our local Discount Grocery Store, and um, Aldi's as well, just because I wasn't sure what kind of meat there was gonna be at the Discount Grocery Store. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm going to uh, share with you everything that we got from there. And then be sure to subscribe if you enjoy large family grocery hauls and homeschool content as well. And I will be sharing, I think next week, um, our Azure Standard Haul. So I'm gonna start stocking up again on the grains and things like that that we use a lot of. It just makes our budget easier because when you buy in bulk, the prices are better. So, um, and we get really good quality products or really good quality, we get really good quality grains and things from Azure. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. All right, so on this side of the table, so this is everything here. On this side of the table is what we got from Aldi's. And so we got two of the unsweetened vanilla almond milks, two of the original unsweetened almond milks. We use those a lot in smoothies, coffee, I mean, everything, <laughs> cooking. Um, grabbed three, uh, three dozen eggs. We are also getting some sometimes from my sister and um, some duck eggs from my sister. And then also we're probably gonna get a couple more dozen from the farmer's market. So we eat eggs a lot and then I plan on doing some more baking and things like that now that we're kind of settled in our new house. Um, grabbed two of these beef kielbasa type sausages, um, smoked sausage to just kind of that's one of my easy meals as we throw it together with something, maybe potatoes or something like that. Grabbed um, this chicken breast. I haven't quite decided what we're gonna do with that yet, um, but I did grab some of that. We were all out of garlic powder, so I grabbed one of these, but I probably at some point will get a bigger bag from Azure. They have really great prices on spices. Grabbed two of these pork sausage, breakfast sausages. Um, they are a good price. And then I grabbed some ground beef here um, before I realized <laughs> that we had um, they had some at the discount grocery store. So I ordered, ordered this first. So we will definitely have plenty. And then I love these never anything chicken breakfast sausages. So we're gonna have those with some sort of breakfast. I am not super thrilled with what they've done to these <laughs> trash bags, but I didn't feel like going an extra place. Um, but they are just, they're very flimsy now. They've gotten worse and they're nothing like, uh, what does it say, Glad bags at all. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna, again, stock up on those at Walmart at some point um, so that I don't have to get these. But uh, grabbed two bunches of organic bananas. Um, they're still green, but we they usually uh, ripen just fine. Grabbed these honey crisp apples they were a good price this week so i grabbed a bag of those and we love our avocados so we grabbed one bag of those and some grapes so those are things probably that i won't find at our local farmer's market so that's why i grabbed those and then the eggs obviously are a little bit cheaper so that stretches our budget even if i want to get some eggs from the farmer's market so some of the things we cannot get there we got at Aldi. Um, they had a sale on crackers this week, which, which is great because they, um, we are supposed to bring crackers for like a snacky lunch for our co-op end of the school year party next week. So they were 99 cents a box, grabbed two of these woven crackers um, for 99 cents. And then there's some more over here in, in just a second. But I also, my husband and I love these um, Simply Mills ones. They're almond flour crackers, rosemary and sea salt. The ingredients are fantastic. I grabbed four boxes so we could have some at home, but also for the snacky lunches that we are um, bringing for different things. So 
these were two forty nine because we do have some other people at our co op that can't do gluten. So, okay, my um, one of my little guys loves these seaweed snacks, so he actually had a just like a fifty cent one that had teriyaki sauce on it. But these ones, I got the regular ones for everybody. So this is a six pack for two ninety nine. They're totally not my thing, but the kids love them, um, and they're good for them. Uh, grabbed this pack of no sugar added applesauce and also grabbed some peanut butter. We got the peanut butter without the sugar. This was $2.29. And then again, I love this keto <laughs> frosting. It's a good price, $2.29, and it does not have very bad. I mean, the ingredients aren't, aren't too bad. Um, grabbed some more of this 100% pure pumpkin, $4.59. So I can make overnight oats, um, some pumpkin pie ones. I have been kind of on a kick with overnight oats, so those are super yummy. And then this is my favorite thing. This is kind of my mommy treat right here. This Purely Elizabeth's granola is $2.99 for just the original. And then I also got this one, which is it says grain free. Um, this one was $2.99, and it's a banana. Uh, banana nut butter one so my little guy saw these so we had to grab these these uh cinnamon like little graham crackers paw patrol they were a dollar 49 you do somebody's left their block here and then we grabbed some of these pizzas since it's friday just for a fun thing um so they had frozen pizzas we grabbed two and the gentleman in there actually gave us two more because he said I had some growing boys, so that was nice of him. Oh, and then back here is the organic grass-fed ground beef. So this is a three packet, or a three pound packet for $12.99. This is a fantastic price. And so I grabbed two of those. And then, then these are the other crackers that I got for um, our co-op party and for another thing that we had going on. So these are just, you know, regular like Ritz crackers. So grab two of those. And then we did have some of these keto banana caramel muffins last time and they are really, really good. They didn't make, I mean, they made like nine muffins. So they didn't um, last very long, $4.99. They have good ingredients. Um, and then these, this pineapple um, coconut juice, it's really simple ingredients, $3.99. The kids asked for that. And then if we come over here on this side, we have this Rayos or Rios, however you pronounce it. Um, this is the bigger bottle for $5.99 of the vodka sauce. And those don't have this one does not have any like sugar in it. Um, grabbed these sugar-free um, like throat lozenges. It says lemon mint. So some um, some people have been having some sore throats and runny noses, so this was a dollar seventy nine. And then I also found this echinacea um, nasal. Let's see, fast nasal Ooh. nasal decongestion. Um, let's see, this was two ninety nine, so that might be helpful. I don't know. Then I also found these stevia sweetened um, sugar free chocolate chips that were $1.99 for something, something sweet. Um, and then grabbed these natural almonds that were a, let's see, $5.99 for 32 ounce. So um, I had been actually wanting some almonds to do, make, have as a backup, a backup for making my own almond milk. I've done that a, a lot before. And then also we could make granola and things like that with it. Um, grabbed some plantains, they just have salt on them. Uh, these were $2.29 and then the kids wanted this dried organic mango for $3.25 and then I really wanted to make some chia seed pudding um, so I grabbed the big bag for $5.99 also some of, saw some of this um, kind of foundation it says BB cream for oily skin I don't know this is um, this was fair so it was my uh, skin type $2.99 for that and then down here, we've never tried these, but they um, they have three ingredients and they are whole fruit gummies. So 
$2.49 for those. Um, and then there's this ginkgo, vit uh, like <laughs> herb here, um, vitamin, herbal vitamin, um, $2.99 for that. Um, I thought I'd look into that. I know that there's benefits to ginkgo, so grabbed that. And then the kids said we needed some more band-aids, so grabbed these ones for $1.99. And then the toothpaste down here, I grabbed this for my little guy. He tends to swallow it. I really don't like him having fluoride. So this one was $1.99. And then this is for my daughter for 99 cents. Then over here, this one's kind of like a hair, skin, and nails supplement for $3.99. And I was actually just going to grab some. Just a basic one from Walmart. So I grabbed that. For me and then the kids let's see these immune booster vitamins elderberry $1.99 we've tried these before they're really good um and then I grabbed some matcha it was a $9.99 we still had coffee my husband um has been wanting to drink less coffee so we're gonna give we're gonna do a little bit more tea um and then right here grab some of these for my mother's day special thing um to go with the burgers that we're gonna make so these kettle chips were 99 cents and then these ruffles were $1.99 I think she said they were cheaper actually the cheddar and sour cream ones one of my little guys grabbed his already but I did get these 100% juice apple juice for 20 cents a piece and then we have these heavenly hunks that the kids love I usually give them like one of them and then some other things but these are $3.25 so and then I did need to make some cupcakes for my little guy's birthday, and I saw this this uh, cake. This is cake flour. Um, so I assume we can make cupcakes with it. Probably yes. Uh, <laughs> and so we're gonna make some cupcakes with that. So for two seventy nine, grabbed that, and it's really really heavy. So it looks like it's gonna make a lot of cupcakes, which. A lot of the uh, boxes don't make much, make too many now, so I just thought that that would be helpful for me. And then I did get some of these organic taco shells. I grabbed two boxes of those for 99 cents. I also thought that the kids would love these, and my husband, these tuna snack kits. It has crackers, a sweet caramel in it, and then the tuna and like a little spoon. So this was 99 cents for these little kits. Um, and then they also saw these no cow dipped dairy free protein bars, which actually looked at the ingredients and they really are not too bad for $1.49. So some of them already ate theirs. We had seven of those. Okay, then, oops. And then down here, I've heard good things about this nighty night tea. So I grabbed some of that when I saw it because we do have some people that are having trouble going to sleep at night. So we have $3.25 for that. And then these are supposed to be really good replacement for like M&Ms. So these are dark chocolates with crispy quinoa, and they're supposed to be really good. Um, they have really good ingredients. I mean, they have like oh, regular like organic cane sugar and things like that. But um, right here, we grabbed three of these uh, solid white tunas, and let's see, I think the ingredients aren't too bad. Vegetable broth is what is with the tuna. Hmm. So vegetable broth and salt is what it is. So we got four of those for 99 cents. Also, somebody baked me for these <laughs> penguin crackers for $1.25. And then this hot salsa I got um, for my husband for $1.49. We usually have a lot of mild stuff for the kids around here, so I grabbed him that. And then got some of this rice ramen that we really like. Um, I've made several things with it before, but for five, 49. So I grabbed that. Grabbed some of these organic rice cakes. We love to spread different things on them for $1.69. And then someone said we needed to get these blue cheese stuffed olives. So those were $3.49. And then I'm trying to eat more stuff with, um, you know, probiotics and things in it, like that in it. Uh, fermented things. We're going to try to do some more fermenting ourselves. But grab this sauerkraut for $3.98. And then this gluten-free, um, like cornbread, yeah, cornbread mix for $2.25. So that'll be helpful for some sort of meal. Grabbed some more avocado oil until our big 
thing of oil comes from Azure. So this was $3.99. And then I also found this extra virgin olive oil as well for $4.99. So we're, we have replaced those oils, which is good because we are about out. Um, grabbed some more of this organic, 100% organic lemon juice. It's really good. 25 cents. I always get it when it's there, when I go there, um, because it's good to add to your water. The kids also wanted this almond butter blend, chocolate almond butter. It does have, um, organic cane sugar in it. Um, but we'll use it for a treat, maybe on top of the rice cakes or something, uh, for $3.99. And then I love this, um, 100% fruit, fruit spread. We use this as our jam, um, so that is $3.99. So we grabbed two of the strawberry, and I think I still have one or two of the blueberry in the pantry. So grab some of these other olives here, um, the purple olives for $3.49. And then I saw these, um, these, we've had them before. We had a different, I think it was the uh, apple ones, apple pie or something. These ones are Blueberry Blast for $2.49 for these bars for the kids. And then these ones are French Toast for $2.49. Ooh, that is... <laughs> that sound good? Mm -hmm. Dilly Garlic uh, Pickles sounded really good. Um, these were $1.79. And then we also grabbed a can of these pineapple, in a, pineapple slices and 100% pineapple juice for $1.49. So like I said, this is everything that we got this week. Um, and we're also, I'm also gonna show you what we got from the farmer's market as well next. All right, so here is everything that we got from the farmer's market. Um, let's see, so we grabbed some kale and some onions from this farm here. And then we did grab some uh, two dozen eggs, but um, there was an accident <laughs> and somebody fell. So we did lose some of them and I've just washed them off and they're ready to go. But we got about about two dozen uh, minus some, half of them. I don't know, not half of them, maybe five. I think we lost five. No, no. Okay. And then my husband loves this coffee here so he got some of that and then also we also got um some coffee to drink as we were walking around as a treat and then um we got two dozen no a dozen a dozen of these apple cider donuts for a treat for the kids from that apple farm and then we also got two containers here of um, microgreens this one let's see one of them is peas I think that one there yeah peas and then this one's broccoli so we like to add those to our salads and on top of things and soups and things like that and then I also have sprouts going over in my kitchen as well we're growing some sprouts so we'll have those as well and then got some local honey um, they gave up they gave me this little little honey bear for Mother's Day, which was really sweet, and then I got a bigger one because we have been having some seasonal allergies here, and that is supposed to help. So, all right, so we got this berry blast, or berry, triple berry, I'm not sure. It's like a mix of different berries that she grew, and this is like a lemonade concentrate, berry lemonade concentrate. So, got that for the kids, and then we got Let's see, some yellow cauliflower. We have never tried that before. And two bunches of broccoli. Also grabbed these bratwurst from this local farm. And that is everything that we got plus one more thing. Let me show you the one more thing. All right, last two things. Sorry, last two things. <laughs> we grabbed the, this pretty, pretty bouquet of flowers for my mom for Mother's Day. We already gave her another gift, but um, we wanted to actually give her something on Mother's Day weekend. Um, but there there were a bunch of little girls that had picked the flowers with their mom and um, made the little bouquets. So isn't that pretty? <laughs> um, and then I also got, uh, okay, so we don't have a huge garden space in the back. I wish we did, but we are renting. So we have some big pots. Um, this, we got this 
beef steak tomato plant that looks really really nice and healthy i believe they got their they get all their plants the ladies that i buy them from get all their plants from or their seeds from <laughs> uh baker's creek which i love their hair um their special seeds so i i like getting mine from there as well um then I do have some plants coming in our Azure order this next week, so be sure to subscribe if you wanna see that coming up. And so that is everything that we got today at the farmer's market, and that I'm gonna end the video here, guys. And be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed our haul this week, our grocery haul, and we, I will chat with you in the comments below.